Yeah, hey everybody, um, welcome to another video. I've actually just finished um, brewing with this uh, fellow stag pour over set. Yeah, I thought of making another video about it because we haven't, we haven't really featured this at all. So, yeah, um, it's been raining. It's actually 2.30 in the afternoon right now. And it is so dark outside. It's been raining. It's supposed to, there is supposed to be a low pressure area somewhere or habagat or the monsoon rains. Um, but yeah, that's why we are able to do the purple background again because it was, it is so dark outside. Um, again, this is the fellow stag pour over set. It's a flat bottom dripper. It is made by a fellow brand. You can actually see here that it has a smaller, um, smaller, smaller bed. If we measure that, I'm gonna try my best to, because my caliper doesn't reach that deep. But this is just an estimation. Yeah, it's around 45, um, 45 mm. It's around 45 mm or four and a half centimeters. While the Oria V4 is... Oh, it's actually the same. Let's try the opening. The opening of the Oreo V4 is 85. And yes, we have the same opening with the fellow stag pour over. Um, maybe the main difference is the material. So the fellow stag pour over is made out of stainless steel. Yeah, the finish inside is brushed steel. Okay. And then it is a double wall dripper. So no matter how you heat up the inside of this, no matter how hot your, your water is, you're not gonna burn yourself with hot steel. At the same time, um, it comes with this. It comes with its own drip tray that locks in place. It's a, it's a, nice, um, it's a nice addition to the set very clever actually yeah it locks in place and that is sealed so you don't um, spill um, coffee water all over the place I think the bottom part is another difference in this you have limited holes you only have so much holes you actually have only 10 small holes for your um, exit, actual exit, this is a 2mm hole. You only have 10 of those. I guess we have the same angle of the walls with the fellow stag pour over. I think this is also seven, around 73 or 75 degree angle. Um, I've been using it the past days and I've actually tried going finer and finer on my grind size and so far I've gone to 17 clicks and I never experienced clogging and stalling. Um, it's still fast. We're gonna brew with this set right now so that I can show you how fast it is. For this coffee we're gonna use the Limu Ethiopia from Black and Bold Coffee. And we're gonna try even finer this time. So we're gonna do 16 clicks on the Comandante. Another difference of this dripper is that the paper filter, while we are using a wave filter, um, the paper filter is actually being compressed to a smaller diameter. Yeah, as I push down the paper filter for it to fit, so the, the, the wave of the filter is actually holding the structure of that column. 
And as long as it holds that structure, we're gonna get a very small diameter. We have a taller water and coffee column. Right. Okay, we're using a high temperature this time. We're using 94 degrees Celsius water. And we're gonna pour in three different portions. So let's start. Gonna try and shake the bed. See how fast it's going? Right, I poured 40 ml and the water actually went down under 30 seconds. Now I just poured and flooded the whole bed of 60 ml of water. I started around 40 seconds and as you can see in my um, overhead camera, the water is flowing really fast. So this is actually a nice way to brew your coffee finer, no? Okay, and then we're gonna pour another 100 ml to finish off the 200 ml ratio. Okay, so I finished pouring at 159. So let's wait and see how fast she's going to bring down all that 100 ml water. Yeah, it's really fast. Imagine we are on 16 clicks on the Comandante. That's really fine. Right, so we finished at around 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I think we can actually go finer. This is a three pour method. And we finished our total brewing time is around two minutes and 45. And we are at 16 clicks. Imagine that coffee is really old, but it still makes good coffee. <laughs> I'm still getting that chocolate and blueberry notes. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this drink, but I wanna show you more about this Stag Pour Over set. As I've said, it maintains the column. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this down, and then we're gonna put paper filters in these um, drippers so that we have a nice comparison of how they utilize the paper filter. Let's get this, the zero, zero, variable speed oh and we also have a new contender here this is the Hario try up flow dripper I really love this dripper and what else uh, let's put the suji into the equation as well because it has a small um, opening too. Right. There. As you can see, the fellow has a very small and near vertical walls because of the paper. The Aurea opens up a little bit. The zero variable speed dripper is a bit wide as well. And at the same time, instead of opening up the opening up the upper part it opens up the bottom of the paper okay the Hario has a near vertical walls too but um, it has a different um, bottom and the Suji is almost the same as the Aurea um, I'm gonna try and measure all of them 
So the vertical walls of the fellow is at 46 mm. The Aurea is somewhere around 56. The paper walls of the Zero Tripper is around 52. Oh, this is surprising. Um, the Hario Tri Up Flow Dripper is around 62, and it has the widest so far. And the Suji is around 52. Again, again, this is around. Yeah, so so the differences in these um, openings of the paper while using a cake filter or a wave filter um, actually helps in how fast or how slow their drawdown is. So as you can see, while most of the flat bottom drippers have almost the same diameter of the base, they differ in how they utilize the wave filter. These openings actually um, help us understand how these drippers work. While they almost look the same, they utilize the paper filter in a very, very different way. So the reason why the stag pour over is very fast it, it, is because it has a near vertical wall. The Aurea is the Aurea and the Zero, while they have almost the same openings they have very different base so with the Aurea you have a smaller base which makes which gives you um, a bit more complexity than the Zero. The Zero has a bigger base which might give you a bit more sweetness out of your cup. The try up actually I think it compensates with the shape of its ridges inside and the fact that it's ceramic so it holds more heat. The Suji, I think, is going to be the slowest out of the bunch because it only has one hole, which is around 8.5 mm hole. And it's a single, single hole under with minimal, minimal um, help from the ridges under. That is how the Stag Pour Over Dripper is different from the bunch of flat bottom drippers that I have right now. Um, I will be making a taste comparison of all these drippers soon. But right now, I want to enjoy my coffee. Um, this is just a preview of what we're going to do. Um, mainly difference in how the coffee bed um, sits on the paper and how the shape of the dripper helps with the brewing of the coffee. And of course, taste comparison and the speed of the drawdown. For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!